as you know this is the AEG uh, Protex washer dryer and uh, one of the problems with washer dryers is they can only uh, dry about half of the wash load which isn't a problem if you're only putting small amounts in there uh, but if you're putting a full load in you're going to have to take half out and then tumble dry half and then put the other half in and it, it can be a bit of a pain um, the other problem is, and I've been caught out a number of times with this, is uh, if you tumble dry a load, uh, or you know, or you wash and dry a load, um, the next time you put a, a load in, uh, you can get fluff uh, left all over the clothes. And it generally happens to Debbie after she's put some clothes in just to be washed, not dried. I was the last one to use it and her uh, work trousers or skirt or whatever it is comes out uh, they all come out covered in uh, fluff and uh, a muck and it causes a few problems uh, so we decided that we would uh, go back the old way and get a tumble dryer and uh, it's the Zanussi uh, Lindo 300. I, I don't know how they make these names up. I don't know where Lindo uh, comes into it. But it is an 8 kilo uh, tumble dryer. The door is absolutely massive. Uh, bags of room in there. I've got a couple of towels in there that were uh, just drying and I've just popped on to pause. The uh, controls are actually let's start from the left. You have the water collection container here. I'm trying to get this on camera, and there's a little spout here that lifts out for uh, pouring stuff away. And uh, yeah, huge capacity that's the uh, biggest reservoir that I've ever seen in any tumble dryer we've ever had. <laughs> Um, so yeah, obviously a condensing dryer. This is not uh, vented anywhere. Uh, the amount of uh, uh, condensation being produced in the room is uh, well, I, we haven't noticed any. Maybe we will in the uh, in the winter months, but so far we've not seen any signs of uh, water being anywhere other than other, other than in that uh, that uh, container. Um, so. After that you have these touch controls, I'm um, just going to turn it off. I don't like the stupid bleeps that it makes because it makes them at the end of the cycle as well which is just, it's just annoying really. But to turn on you just press and hold for a second. The lights will run through a, a sequence. Uh, you've got cottons at the top uh, which I think is the default setting and um, You've got synthetics, mix, easy iron, wool, duvet, refresh, and uh, 30 minutes time. I think that just allows you to put it on for 30 minutes for whatever reason. Um, obviously, it's got a sensor inside. I was surprised to see some questions on the internet. I think it was on, uh, well, actually, I think it was on the Witch Magazine website. Um, some people were saying, well, does it have a sensor? Well, of course, it's got a sensor. It, it's got various drying levels. Uh, I don't know how people think it's just going to guess <laughs> whether it's sopping wet or bone dry. So yeah of course there's a sensor in there. Um, as I say you select the level here up to four, so you've got minimum heat, half heat, three quarters and then maximum um, and that's you know kind of whether it's like the washing machine you, you can do it cupboard dry um, uh, ironing dry, that sort of thing, or fully dry. You've got an anti-crease 90 minute uh, cycle, a 60 minute cycle, a delicate um, cycle, and you can just select them depending on what you've selected here. At the moment we're on cotton so we can only select delicate and anti-crease. If we go down to synthetics you've got the same now we've got, we're onto the mix and we've only got the anti-crease. Now we're on easy iron and you've got delicate only. Wool. Yeah, you can only select delicate. Notice it flashing here red if you can't select something. Duvet. Again, no options there. 
refresh, there won't be any options. Oh, they will anti crease in 90 minutes, and the 30 minute one, you've got delicate 60 minutes or anti crease. So, yeah, I guess uh, instead of having an extra light here and a 60 minute option, you can select that and then just select 60 minutes instead of 30. Uh, unusual way of doing it, but uh, you know, why not? Um, if the tank's full, you have a warning here, and actually, these will flash up after the normal load's finished just to say, hey, go, you know, just check the tank uh, and the filter. Uh, oh, conditioning, I'm not, I can't remember. Oh, no, sorry, it's not conditioning, it's condenser, which is uh, hidden uh, in that cover there. We'll have a look at that in a second. And then you on this one, you have three, six, and nine hour delays and there is a child lock uh, feature as well which uh, I can't remember how you activate we'll obviously never need it but there's a light here that uh, lights up if it's uh, locked we're just going to run it with these couple of towels in and I have to say it's also the quietest tumble dryer that we've ever had there may well be quieter ones on the market, but you know, if this was in a room that you were uh, using, like the kitchen, it's really, really not going to be a, an issue at all. So I'm just going to pause that again. Whoops. just go down to the bottom of the door and the fluff filter again is uh, quite large just lifts out here Oops. and uh, you just pop it open and you can see all the fluff is collected uh, in there and again very easy to remove as with most tumble dryers it all seems to come out in one big ball expect from time to time this will need a, uh, a rinse it just clicks together and straight back in and you're good to go again now the condenser itself is under this big flap a couple of fragile looking uh, catches just here I don't know how long they're going to last. They really are quite, um, quite flimsy. Again, you shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't need to take this out too often. Uh, but if you do need to wash the condenser out, you simply undo the levers. Door falls down, and you can pull out the condenser. There's water in it at the moment, obviously because it was uh, in use. I'm just going to tip that into the sink that you can uh, hopefully see through there and uh, you know you'll, you'll get dust and stuff accumulate on that over the uh, over the month that we just need to wash out but nice and simple to take out put back in and uh, that's pretty much it only complaint I would say is uh, you probably can't see it, uh, here, but there is a bit of a bow in this plastic door. It should be more in that position. I'm going to spin the screen around see if you can even see what I'm talking about. Well, you can just see it. It's, it's more obvious when you're standing closer to it, but that's definitely not quite moulded properly. should be there and it's bowed out a little bit. Um, other than that, yeah, it works perfectly. Very, very quiet. Very pleased with that. And also, it uh, it does the job really quickly. It's uh, much quicker uh, than the uh, AG's built-in tumble dryer. Um, so yes, very pleased with that. And I don't get in trouble anymore. Everything comes out of the washing machine in perfect condition for Madam. And uh, I just wash my stuff in there and sling it straight in there. So perfect, uh, Zanussi 8 kilo Lindo 300. Uh, it's around 250, 260, something like that. So I can definitely recommend uh, that on uh, on all fronts. 
Catch you later.